Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at some new gear from Tom Bin. In this video, we're going to be checking out their old school carry all duffel and their Trey Bien organizer. And these are some really interesting items to help keep all of your stuff easily organized, whether you're traveling at home, at work. And I'm excited to have had the chance to test these out over the past couple of weeks. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience using them, show you how I've loaded them out, use them to organize my stuff. And I'll also talk about how they compare to other similar items that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I want to thank the company for sending the items for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Kicking things off with the old school carry-all, as far as the aesthetic, you know, it's very much like the name says, it has a little bit of an old school vibe, very much like the duffels that I used all throughout my youth to go to the gym or to various sporting events or even for travel, so it's an aesthetic that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna blend well for any of those activity. It doesn't really stand out too much. They have it in a few different colors. I have, you know, the all black here, which gives it a little bit more of a modern vibe, but there's a lot of different options that you can check out on the company site. So really like how the bag looks, nothing too crazy going on. The biggest difference probably on the outside is you have the old school Tombin logo. It doesn't have the traditional kind of airplane logo. This one is all right. I actually prefer the airplane, but I think this works well with the overall vibe of the bag and then as far as the materials on the exterior the version that i have is a ballistic nylon which i'm always a fan of it feels like it's going to offer a nice amount of weather resistance it's going to hold up to rougher usage particularly for a duffel that i'm probably going to be throwing around a lot throwing into a trunk or into an overhead storage compartment this material feels like it's going to hold up and you have some great ykk zippers all throughout that have worked very smoothly continuing along the outside of the bag you have two simple loops one on each side, which you're gonna be great for loading this into an overhead storage compartment, into a trunk. I really love when you have the ability to kind of grab a bag easily. These are a little bit on the thinner side, but it's like a seat belt material that still feels like it's gonna hold up well. This also isn't a huge bag, so I don't think that these would tear. You can potentially hang this up on a hook in a gym or something like that. I've also attached my hero clip to the handles at the top, and you know, I can pair this with one of these loops to hang it up when I'm not using it or I don't want to place it on the ground. And then at the top of the bag, you have some attachment points for a shoulder strap that I believe is sold separately. It would have been nice to have the shoulder strap included given the price point of the bag. It is nice, however, that you can remove and attach it if you want a cleaner look, if you're somebody who just wants to carry it by the handles. And in this case, these are some very nice handles. They're well padded. So this is a comfortable padding that they have here. You have two handles so you can open the bag up wide and hold it open. Uh, the handles feel very durable, like they're not gonna tear. And then because of the padding that they have, they really feel like they're gonna be comfortable to carry the bag, even when it's a little bit more loaded out if you're traveling in a TSA line or something. It doesn't feel like you're gonna get any sort of fatigue with the padding that's offered here. And then as far as the sizing, this one comes in at about 21 to 22 liters, which is pretty interesting in my opinion for a duffel bag. This is definitely kind of a nice smaller size. It's gonna be great for you know keeping stuff in the car, for the gym, or for a shorter weekend or overnight trip. It's not gonna be able to hold a ton of stuff, especially like bulkier packing cubes, but it can still hold an impressive amount just due to the simpler layout. So, you know, it's been interesting to load it out with different stuff and use cases, um, but it's a size that works well. It's different from having a full-fledged travel backpack. So anybody who's kind of looking at this bag is probably not looking for something humongous for longer-term travel. This is also a good companion bag to something like the Cynic 30. You know, if you carry a backpack that's gonna work well to hold most of your items, your tech, your camera gear, and then you can pack a few changes of clothes into this for a trip that you can easily toss into an overhead storage compartment. Jumping into the organizational options, it was definitely fun to experiment with different loadouts for this bag, depending on the use cases that I was you know, thinking of it for. And so this is something that is gonna work well for travel, but also for you know a day at the gym, going to a sporting event or hike, or for keeping stuff in the car, maybe a day at the pool. So the way that I've loaded it out now is actually how you know I think I would have it for a day out at the park when I was playing soccer, or you know going to play some tennis, or even to the gym. So that's kind of the focus that I had for the bag here. And it has a pretty simple layout, but the pockets that it does have give you so much space that you still 
but the pockets that it does have give you so much space that you still have a lot of flexibility with what you can store and how you can organize everything. So starting off on the outside, you have two large zippered compartments. I'll start with this one here at the front, the side that has the logo. And so plenty of volume here in this compartment. This is the important thing about having these sorts of pockets. The more volume they have, the more useful they are. It's not a super flat compartment, so I was able to toss in a lot of bulkier kind of pouches to add my own organization to the bag. So in this case, I tossed in my Air Slim pouch, which is a pouch that I have with me on most days. It has a lot of tech accessories, portable batteries, things like that. Then on the inside, you can see just how much this comes out. You have the Halcyon liner to give you a little bit of visibility, so I really like that contrast. And then in this area, I also tossed in my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. I also have a little headlamp, you know, if I happen to be out later and it gets kind of dark. And then moving along the sides, I also tossed in my GoPro camera. And then as I really love the O-ring systems that Tom Bin always adds to their bags. You have three O-rings at the top of this compartment so that you can you know, add a variety of different accessories. The bag includes this lanyard with a plastic clip, which is gonna be great for attaching your keys or a multi-tool. I have the Gerber shard attached here. And then in this middle O-ring, I attached the Tombin Ghost Whale pouch, which just has some of these smaller EDC items that I normally like to have with me. Really love just being able to pull the pouches out and knowing that they're not gonna get lost. And then in this last O-ring on the right, I just attached a little pouch from Topo Designs, which has some smaller items and snacks that I like to have with me. And then on the other side of the bag, you have an additional external pocket. And what I like about this one is that it has a mesh that actually makes it a ventilated compartment, which is awesome for storing anything that's wet or you know shoes or clothes that you've been using for activities. It's gonna allow them to breathe and not really trap the odor inside of the compartment. It's similar size to the other one that we saw. So again, just plenty of volume here, even for larger items. In this case, I actually tossed in a pair of shoes. These are some Toms that I like to have with me to change after I've been running around. And so I was very impressed that those were actually able to fit in there so easily. This is also gonna be a good compartment for maybe a water bottle. There's no dedicated water bottle pocket, but this is a good area for it because of the space. And you know, if there happens to be any spills, it'll just kind of come out of the side. So, you know, that was able to hold it very easily. On the inside, I also attached my Matador Nano Dry Shower Towel because you have the same O-ring system. Again, you have another three rings. And if you read through the page for this bag on Tom Ben's site, you know, they're very clear that they don't really anticipate that everybody is gonna necessarily use all the O-rings, but they wanted to give you a lot of options so that you could set it up with the pouches in the way that worked best for you. So this is a nice place to just attach anything with a carabiner. This, you know, this towel is something that I like to have for me, particularly in the outdoors for a day at the pool. But beyond that, I didn't really place anything else in this compartment, but I just love the amount of space that it offer, the flexibility regardless of whether I'm traveling or for going out for a day at the gym or the park. And then the last compartment that we're gonna be taking a look at is the main storage area. The first thing I'll call out here is that you do have the ability to lock this compartment, which is really nice, particularly while traveling or if you're placing this into a locker at the gym that maybe doesn't have its own lock, you have a little bit more peace of mind. So taking the lock off, and opening the compartment, this is, you know, very standard duffel style opening. So you have nice visibility into the inside of the bag, plenty of space again at 21 to 22 liters. It's still going to be able to hold a decent amount. Not great for like a ton of packing cubes or bulkier items. You can see that the space does start to get, you know, filled up quite a bit. But as I mentioned, I loaded this out as I would for a day at the gym or in the outdoors. So typically what I would have there is uh, something for a change of clothes. This is my Nomadic compressible packing cube. It's one of the smaller ones that I have that is still able to hold a ton of stuff. So I have, you know, underwear, socks, and clothes that I would change out of when I got, you know, all sweaty or wet. So that fit in there nicely. And then I also have my Beats Studio wireless headphones with its hard case. And I attached on the inside the Tom Bin Handy Little Thing Size 2, which works great as a dop kit or as a tech pouch, snack pouch. This can hold so much stuff. Really, I just wanted to again showcase the versatility of having the O-rings on the inside here. You have two on each side, so these pair well with 
my Beats headphones, I can attach these with the carabiner, and then I can also easily access the handy little thing pouch and not have to worry about it getting lost. And if you don't wanna use any of those O-rings, you just wanna keep things simple or not carry any pouches, they just kinda of stay out of the way. Beyond that, no other internal organization, so just a really simple layout in this bag, but I think it works well for so many different use cases, and if you're looking for a durable and simple duffel bag to kind of add to all the other you know, collection of bags that you have for traveling or EDC, then I think this is gonna be a really interesting option to take a look at. The other item that we're gonna be taking a look at is the tray bien, which is a really simple item. This is an organizer tray that was used in Tom Bin's store to just kind of hold the pouches while they were being displayed. People just asked where they could get them. I've used some of these valet trays over the years on my nightstand in my office, and I've always been a big fan of how clean they keep your, your countertops or just anywhere that you're placing them. They sell this in two sizes. This is the smaller size, which is gonna you know, work excellent for throwing the items that I normally have in my pockets, you know, instead of just having them float loosely on my nightstand or my kitchen counter, I love having just a singular place where I know they're gonna be every morning when I'm you know, getting ready to go out for the day. And the larger version of this works quite well for drawers. On Tom Ben's site, they have a variety of displays that they've shown with use cases for how you can use them to organize tons of different stuff. The trays themselves feel very well made. They're offered in a few different materials. I have the ballistic nylon version here. It feels really durable and rigid, like it's not gonna lose its shape over time. On the exterior, it has these snap closures that it would help give it its shape. One thing that I was a little bit sad about is that if you re remove all the snap closures, this doesn't actually go down completely flat. That's something that the company calls out on their site. So they're very, they knew that this was the case going in. This isn't meant to be a travel item. Sometimes you can actually flatten these out and, and throw them into a bag and they're not gonna take up that much space. This one is a little bit bulkier than, you know, what I would throw into a travel bag. So definitely something that's just more for home use or office use or something. But the snap system works well for keeping it in this nice shape. And you know, once you get one or two of these, it's really just a fun experience to kind of see how you're gonna use them for organizing your life. As I mentioned in my case, I just tossed in you know, a simple pocket knife, I have my AirPods, a little pen from Pete's Pirate Life, and then my wallet. And this is what I normally use this type of tray for. It's the default use case, but I've also thrown these into many of my drawers with cables and chargers so that I could easily find them, or even with office supplies, paper clips, pencils, and in, in the kitchen, this may work for you know just holding some of those items that you don't want floating around, batteries and rubber bands, and you can mix and match the different options that Tom Ben has to create quite a nice system. This is something that I've always been a little bit obsessed with, you know, Marie Kondo, Container Store, and being able to keep all of your stuff easily findable and looking nice in their drawers. So if you're like me and you love organizing, you love combining different things to create a nice system, then the tray bands are gonna be an awesome option for that purpose. And so to wrap up, it's been a pretty good experience testing out the old school carry-all and the Trey Bien organizer over the past couple of weeks. And you can currently purchase these on the company site starting at about $30 for the smaller version of the organizer that I featured in the video. And then the carry-all is gonna come in at about $170. So it is a bit of an investment. It's very well built and it has some interesting features. It's also assembled in smaller batches in the US, which may make it worth the additional cost but there's also gonna be some great options in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing these out, they definitely reminded me a lot of many of Tom Bin's already existing great products, such as the Teco Knot 30, which we reviewed pretty recently on the channel. That's been one of my favorite travel bags that's been released recently. It just has great organization, an impressive amount of space, comfortable to wear and it's going to be a good alternative to something like the simplicity offered by the carry-all it's a much more robust travel bag that can also be used as a shoulder bag so if you're looking for something that's going to you know work to give you a little bit more space and organization that's going to be a great option to consider tom ben also has a ton of different pouches that you can purchase for organizing your stuff in addition to something like the tray bien organizer uh, i really have enjoyed using their handy little thing pouches they offer that in two sizes it opens up flat it has some great internal organization and it pairs well with all of tom ben's other bags so if you you know are really into organizing your stuff and you prefer something that's going to be a little bit more mobile than this tray then those will definitely be worth taking a look at the next items that these made me think of is the packed anywhere collection which we also looked at pretty recently that was a collection that consisted of a you know 25 liter duffel a five liter sling bag 
They had a very large 50 to 55 liter duffel. And then they also had a really interesting just kind of container that you could place in your car. I still use that quite a bit in my car. It's almost like a super generous version of the Trabian organizer. The duffel bag that's included in that collection reminds me a lot of the carry-all. It's a little bit bigger and it has some extra organizational options. That organization does eat up into some of the space. So I almost feel like I could hold more in this in this smaller bag but that one is just going to give you a lot of different ways to organize your stuff and be able to grab whatever you need so a really great option and then you know I, I absolutely love the sling bag for all the smaller EDC items that I need to carry with me and of course they're an organizer for my trunk again like the Trabian it's just a great thing to kind of place in different areas and be able to group a bunch of stuff so if you're looking for versatile travel accessories particularly if you're looking to do some road trips then those will be great options to consider. Another couple of options these made me think of were some of the newly released bags and items from Air. This year they refreshed their gym collection, so they have the uh, Air Fit Pack 3 and the Duffel Pack 3. Particularly the Duffel Pack is going to compare nicely to something like the Carry All. I like that that one is actually going to offer a little bit more organization and protection for your tech. It's, it has a separate shoe compartment. It's going to work well in a variety of different situations. So if you're looking for something that's more of a hybrid gym bag, that's going to give you just a little bit more flexibility, that's going to be a great option to consider. They've also released a bunch of different organizer pouches this year. Again, not exactly the same thing as the Trade Bien, just a nice alternative for keeping smaller items grouped and easy to find. So they have um, their new cable kit, they've released the split kit. Um, the slim pouch in particular has been kind of my favorite to use. It's a perfect balance of just space and organization without getting too overwhelming. So definitely recommend checking out Air's site to see all of their pouch options. And if you're looking for items like these that are gonna offer a sleek style, then those are gonna be worth taking a look at as well. And then the last item that I'll mention here is the Orbit Key Nest Desk Organizer. I looked at that a while back on the channel and that was a really interesting Kind of hybrid tray and pouch it kind of falls somewhere in between so it, it's great for placing on your desk and organizing all the stuff that you need to carry with you it has an internal layout that you can reconfigure with velcro dividers you can kind of rest your stuff on the top of it your edc items it has a wireless charger so and then you can close it up and actually transport it in a backpack so it kind of serves both purposes it's not as easy to access or as simple as something like the Trabian. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, um, but it's not also as flexible as some of the pouches that we've looked at on the channel. It's a little bit rigid, it's a little thicker, so it's gonna take up some extra space in the bag. So it's an interesting kind of niche product, but I've enjoyed using it a lot. I still use it on my desk for a lot of the items that I use while I'm working. And if you're interested in something that kind of falls in between a pouch and just a simpler tray, then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. With that being said, the old school carry-all and the Trabian hold up well against all those items. And if you like Tom Bin's aesthetic and ecosystem, and you're looking for some versatile and durable accessories, and these are gonna be a great options to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of these new items from Tom Bin and how they compare to some of the other great EDC and travel items that we featured on the channel. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank the company again for sending the items for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.